Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Um, clearly today is glam day for me. I usually don't wear anything on my face if you've seen the previous videos. That just has to do with um, my acne and skin journey. So I never really got into makeup and, you know, the look. But today I wanted to do a work with me type of video i'll be working today is a work day but i thought there would be some questions that i can respond to um i didn't really share any questions with anyone but i just thought it's things that um i would like to share or you would find interesting about myself related to my studies as well as my career um so yeah, take the moment to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope that you enjoy the content and yeah. So I'll be looking down while I type and do my work and also read the questions, but I'm with you. I am with you. Alright, so the first question is, where did I study and what qualification do I have? Um, I studied at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, UKZN. I started my undergraduate studies um, in 2013 because I matriculated in 2012 and then I studied my Bachelor of Social Science degree, it was a general degree and I majored in, in psychology as well as industrial organizational and labor studies. Um, and then from there, after the three years, I went to, I did my honours, did my honours in, um, in, in psychology, um, so the major was um, psychology. I really enjoyed my varsity experience, um, I didn't have the typical, typical varsity experience, um, which is like going out and I don't really know what happens because I stayed at home um, so I didn't attend any of the freshers events or anything like that I would attend the things that happened you know at SU the student union you know it gets liberties coming and activations and all of that but I was pretty much a go to go to campus go back home go to campus go back home yeah question is what type of student was I in high school in comparison to university so in high school <laughs> I was quite the average student I really was was comfortable and okay with you know your 60s your 70s even your 50s sometimes um, I really wasn't pushing that much i don't know what was happening um but i i was getting through average pass hmm, i'm happy yay and then i do not know what happened in university because when i got there there was a complete switch in my in my dedication to my studies i was studying every single day every single day and like i said i was living at home so i would go to campus come back i had i would study from nine o'clock for like two hours so every day i dedicate um like two hours to my studies i honestly don't know what bug bit me but i'm glad that it bit me <laughs> it wasn't late late um but yeah i really pushed in varsity i was even that girl that's the librarian knew she didn't know my name but she was like oh you're here again what do you need assistance with because when a librarian knows you <laughs> you must be doing something right 
So, um, yeah, I was that type of student um, in varsity. Um, didn't go out much. But I think it's... it's I didn't miss out on this, uh, like uh, the, the party stage or the, the fun stage because my mom wasn't strict. She allowed me to go out um, even at night. So I wasn't like crazy 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 like oh my god now i'm out i can do this and this and this and this it was pretty chilled it was whatever i go out when i need to go out when i don't want to i don't want to so yeah that was um the student that i was in varsity all right job hunting so after my after varsity, so in varsity, I I volunteered um, at the okay I'll say it, at the Department of Education. Um, it was administration, but it was like okay, I I'm, I don't have a lot of classes anymore, so I don't need to attend um, quite a lot, and I can use with you know the experience I can use with. Um, the, the opportunity to get office work you know because previously it was more casual um type of work but now I, I wanted to see if i can get some office work so that was also a nice experience that i had um so throughout my honors year until um the until 2017 september when i started my internship so that I was I was pretty um, excited about. Um, I got first I applied for the graduate program, which I didn't get, and then I got the internship. Um, and then after that, you know, you stress so much. It's, oh my God, am I even gonna get a job? What am I gonna do? Oof, it's 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 scary. I won't lie, it's scary. It's not nice to to not have a, a definite plan or a definite um, answer on what the future holds um, job hunting is not fun um, but you you have to put in the effort you need to apply 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 knock on doors I remember I even went out like you, we never don't do this anymore but I even went out to offices it was back in Durban I think what office park was that it was that office park by by gateway before you get to gateway there's there's an office park where you find your ENCAs and your whatnot I went there knocking um, handing out my CV like if they have any opportunities so it, it, it drives you to then think like, what do I need to do because I feel like applying online is not doing much so maybe I should knock on doors it's not nice it's not fun but um, it has to happen Luckily, I, I did get um, an opportunity. I didn't have to wait that long um, when I got to Joburg. Um, but yeah, looking for a job is it, not nice and it is discouraging. Um, but I think you, you kind of have to swallow the pride and, and ask for help, volunteer your time. You know, it, it's better for you to, I know it's expensive. It could be expensive. Um, to, to travel to a job when you're not getting paid or you're not even getting a stipend but even if it's it's, it's part-time offer your, your services that is experience that is something that you can't buy so put in the hours do the research online apply 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 someone will answer Alright, so in relation to the in relation to the job hunting, um, I would say that if you are, you know, a young professional, an established professional, um, I would advise you to get a a um, LinkedIn profile. You can never go wrong with getting a LinkedIn profile. Um, that is a really good platform where professionals meet um, and share information, share jobs, share conferences and workshops, share tips, 
um, on, on applying, on, on how to conduct yourself at work. So whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you are in a profession, I would advise you to open a LinkedIn page. Um, if you don't have any experience, you can still open your LinkedIn page and put it out there that you're looking for work experience. This is what you do. This is your current CV. This is what you've studied. And the, these are your ambitions. And post regularly so that um, the people that are in your space um, that are flagged every time um, you post something or get a notification, um, they will be able to see, okay, there's this person out there looking for opportunities like this. So even on LinkedIn, you can, they now have a feature where uh, you can indicate that you're open and looking for work. I'm not sure how it's, it's actually worded, but that's what it basically means. Um, there's also, you know, great content that you can find on LinkedIn. So basically what I'm trying to say is have a LinkedIn page, profile yourself well, so that, because um, honestly, you really don't know whether your your future employer is. So, starts with creating a LinkedIn profile. I promise you, recruiters go to LinkedIn and check your profile. So make sure that you position yourself well. Make sure that you highlight all your. Um, amazing abilities and, and skills and expertise that you do have don't be discouraged if you haven't had any experience position yourself in that way that you are open to learning you're open to opportunities and and i believe that you will um get some clicks on on your profile all right let's get into adulting Like I said, I was in varsity, I was at home, so traveling back and forth from home, yeah, that was a thing. Even during my internship, I was at home. I I never really lived by myself. So when I did move to Joburg, um, so like I said, in Pretoria, I lived with my cousin. When I got uh, my first job, um, I lived with my other cousin, hey Nola, <laughs> nice seeing you. Um, I lived with my cousin um, for a couple of months and then I had to move out by myself and wowzer <laughs> you know when um, your mother when you're young and you're gonna go out and you're like oh mom can I have ice cream oh mom can I have a burger can we have this and this today can we have this and this today and the answer is yay okay there's food in the house so I have learned, ladies and gentlemen, that there is definitely food in the house. Um, you had to know that there's so much to pay for. <laughs> Keeping yourself alive is a mission, okay? Um, but I, I, it's good to learn how to, to budget. I've always been a budgeter. I've always been a person that, like, if I, I cannot go over this amount, if I go over this amount, then I'm screwed for the rest of the rest of the month so i'm a budgeter um i really don't like putting myself in a in a tight financial situation also don't like borrowing money oh my god i i uh, borrowing money gives me the itches like because it's like it's a debt on top of debt on top of debt on top of debt so i try by all means to work on a, a, a positive number as much as i can and I, I would advise and i would always advise someone that if you're going to take out a loan or if you're going to take or borrow money borrow money or take out a loan for the exact amount that you need and you know that you will be able to pay it off for this amount of time because don't just take a loan because the bank is going to offer you a credit card the bank is going to offer you a loan do you need it no don't take the loan only approach um financial um or, or people who give up money banks 
<laughs> don't know what they're called. Um, only take their money when you really need it and when it's really, really, really important for you to take up, to take that money and make sure that you it's something that you've thought about that okay if this um repayment comes out of my account every single month i'll still be able to maintain my my standard of living um it won't i won't have to now take this from this but life happens but please try to not take loans that you really don't need because that's when you start thinking that type of money i believe is for crisis and it really does help during crisis so um living by myself i have really learned a lot um I've learned a lot um, you know just being responsible for myself making sure that there's food in the house making sure that there's electricity water's paid um, all the things that come with the roof on your head is paid um, so it's 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 a good learning experience I think for myself but nothing beats having discipline nothing beats knowing what your standard of living is and what your money can afford you so don't be <laughs> pressured into um, doing something that you can't afford there, there, there's beauty in, in progress there is beauty and excitement in 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 reaching for for something and, and working towards something so never look down on where you've started we all start somewhere obviously the playing fields sometimes are not always leveled someone will start here someone will start here but don't ever be discouraged by where you start it, it's good to have vision it's good to have a hope it's, it's good to have a goal that you know that you're working towards so that's it Hi guys, it's starting to get really really cold. I had to get a jacket. But yeah, the one thing that I keep forgetting to mention is my age. I am 27 years old. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm actually 26. I'm turning 27 um, in September. Ugh, I'm getting old. Like, remember when you thought people in their 30s are like old, old? it's creeping up but yeah basically that's it's about me um i'll keep dropping some nuggets about myself and um, the experiences that i've had in my life and i really hope that you find that interesting so once again thank you for watching my video and for supporting me so far i think my numbers are growing um slowly but surely um but yeah i'm excited for the journey and i will see you guys in my next episode thank you